When you look at the scoreboard now, never thought that happened as Connor Cooney puts that over the bar for his seven point of the match. His free taking quite consistent. But there's a long gap now between Kilkenny and Galway. Between the 53rd and 63rd minute, that's a space of 10 minutes, Kilkenny rattled in or over a goal and eight points. Yeah, too, I think Galway was one point in that, in that space. Like that. So that just shows you that's the story of the game. Damien Hayes. And that's why you can't just relax for a split second against them, but their substitutions have worked really well. And Tommy Walsh in particular came on there and I think brought a new life and, and passion and heart into the Kilkenny team. Ball comes here as Connor Cooney. Post. And that is coming back off the post. You sense when that sort of thing happens that it's just not going to be Galway's day. Oh, fantastic catch by TJ Reid. He was a carryman that loved him in the, in the kingdom with his football ability, his fielding ability. As uh, Jason Flynn sends that over the bar for his second point of the match. But you begin to feel that the spirit is drained out of Galway after that 1-8 blitz in 10 minutes by Kilkenny. Absolutely, but Marty, this young player, uh, Jason Flynn, I must say I've been very impressed with him. He's worked really, really hard. Um, he's a great attitude. He scored a couple of points, could have you know, had a few more scores. A great catch by Henry Shefflin there from that puck out. Henry has fouled. Little Italian and himself got a little bit entangled. All unnecessary. But wonderful catch by Henry Shefflin. Well, I don't know what Irland Italian is getting so excited about at this stage of the game, you know. It's a bit ridiculous, to be honest with you. The referee is giving an extra few metres for descent from Galway. A little bit of frustration at this stage creeping in to their yeah, game as well, to be fair. So TJ Reid has had a wonderful match. This has... Uh, Richie Hogan takes the point. Give him a personal tally of a goal and eight points. Well, Kilkenny didn't really like the thought of 2013 not playing any game in Croke Park. That's going to change now as Joe Cannon lays it off. Back to Canning again, trying to provide the leadership. Giving it outside and a wonderful goal by Conor Cooney. Splendid goal by Galway. Nice team movement, good interpassing, and the finish sublime. Yeah, it was great play. Joe Cannon involved on in a couple of occasions. He caught the puck out of initially a beautiful pass there out to Conor Cooney. He couldn't miss. And that's the type of heart I was talking about. Marty. Back to six points now, and Galway not thrown in the towel yet. Full credit to Galway. And they get the free. Kenny not quite agree with that decision of John No, it was a great catch by TJ Reid. Watch it here, he came in, a brilliant catch. Comes down with the ball, he gets a nudge of the hurl there off Dahi Burke. You can see that. Uh, mm. Into the stomach and he, he lost his foot and the referee gave a free for overcarrying. Bit hard. Strange call. Yeah. Kenny going to introduce another substitute. Brian Hogan looks to be the man that's going to be uh, introduced. And he's going on for Jackie Terrell. So a change in the Kilkenny defence. You know, you talk about the 1 8 that Kilkenny scored in 10 minutes. I read during the week in one of the papers where in the All Ireland final replay, it took Kilkenny 56 seconds between Joe Canning hitting a ball off the post. Uh, then there was a point, and uh, Cyril Donnell was sent off, but it all took 50 seconds. And, in that turn space of time, turn the game around. Take it, take it. Ball just being scrambled out a little bit. It's called a one pursuit of another goal. Comes back to Canning. Here's a chance for Coney. It's another goal. Well, well. Right off. Goal away at your peril. They look dead and gone and on the bus home. But they're not. Wonderful spin. Look at Coney here. An absolute lasher of a shot. Well, Marty, that's what happened. Kenny were nine up. We all relaxed. We all said the game was over. And two quick goals by Galway. They're right back in this game now with still a couple of minutes to go and a bit of injury time. Three points between the teams. Can you believe it? 30 points to 27. Cleared on the line by your Tanya. Is there one more goal left in the men from the West? 
Jonathan Glenn under pressure from Porig Watch. Look at that for hunger. They're now beginning to believe in themselves again. Joe Cannon chasing after it. Just getting a little touch was Brian Hogan. It was enough. Richie Hogan is there to clear it down the sideline. Aidan Fogarty underneath it. Coming across is Ronan Burke. Sideline ball. Yeah, that was an important intervention there by Ronan Burke. Tommy Walsh had drifted up the wing and it was two against one in there with himself and Colin Fenley, but Ronan Burke managed to get to the ball. But what a comeback by Galway, Marty. We had them written off here. I don't normally do it in Hurling because the gap controls very, very quickly, but it just looked like it was all over. They were cruising nine points up, started to empty their bench and, and furnished the Galway. Two great goals and they're right back in it. Fergal Moore. It's uh, Colin Finlay and TJ Reid make a bit of a mess of the sideline ball. But Finlay never gives up, which you have to admire. His effort across, however, is blocked. In comes here, Latanya, powerful. And then gives her a mighty cup of the slipper down the field. Possession here now is vital. Crucial. On the ground is Jonathan Glenn. Who has it? Paul Murphy. Scrambles it up onto the hurl, and away he goes. There's a bit of time going to be added on as we reach the 70th minute. Is there a goal left in Galway? Ball is dropping long, very long, and it falls to one man. Jonathan Glenn, it's one against one. Can he score brought down deliberately? And that is surely a penalty. My word, drama in O'Connor Park. No doubt whatsoever, it had to be a penalty. Two minutes of additional time. We thought Kilkenny were home and host. I'm sure Brian Cody did as well, perhaps in the back of his mind. But the spirit of the West has been rekindled, and incredibly, the switches indeed that Anthony Cunningham have made, like Jonathan Glenn, has paid dividends. And there's a chance here to level this Leinster Championship semi-final, and perhaps force a replay. Well, that's it, Marty. There's still another minute to go of, of um, injury time. Pressure now on Joe Cannon. He's carried Galway on his shoulders for the last number of years, and a great chance here now to equalise. He scored the first penalty on the 51st minute. 20 minutes later, he has to do it again. He didn't really, to be honest, hit the first one brilliantly. It still went into the back of the net. This to force a replay. Here it comes. It's there! Galway have come back from the dead in the most remarkable comeback against one of the greatest teams in the game of hurling. Fantastic Galway. Yeah, look at that for a strike party this time. Beautiful uh, skill there by Canning. He just rolled that up and top spin on the ball there, low into the corner of the net. And is he going to blow it up? There's one last play. TJ Reid gets the puck out almost. It comes instead to Aiden Fogarty. It's Henry Shefflin. Is this a winner? It's dropping in, it's dropping in, it's over the bar. My word. Henry, the King Henry, has responded with Kenny Kenny needed him most. Is there time left in this dramatic, He's going dramatic... To give him, he has to give them a chance. We're the break. Jonathan Glynn has, Jonathan Glynn has the ball. Comes to Joe Cannon. Difficult angle. Is he going to score from there? Oh, my God. Awesome. Incredible. Two of the greatest hurlers that has graced the fields of Ireland. Henry Shefflin down on one end. Joe Canning on the other. Blow it up, referee. It's a draw in O'Connor Park, Tullamore. Marty, what a second half, and what a way to finish a game. Henry Shefflin, as you say, one of the greatest players of all time, but he's, I suppose, the pretender to his crown over the last number of years. The expectation on Joe Canning's head has been immense, and to score the penalty, first of all, and then to score that point from the sideline onto the 21-yard line, what a score, and what an absolute brilliant second half, and all credit to Galway. You have to say, Kilkenny, did, Kilkenny pulled away. They had it won in everybody's eyes here at the, at the match. And they come back into that game. They showed tremendous character. I said it with 10 minutes to go. It was an important 10 minutes of the season. I didn't think it was going to have that finish. I didn't think it was going to be that important. But what a fantastic second half. Ten times they were level. It looked like this was the winner from Henry Shefflin. Colm Callan and couldn't reach it. But look at this. Impossible angle almost on the... 13 meter line, acute, and he puts it between the posts to force a replay. Ten times the sides were level. Joe Canning on RT Radio 1 being interviewed live as everybody is breathless. Incredible. Ten times level, level for the tenth and final time after 72 minutes of play, and it ends before a crowd of 12,548. Colway, five goals, 16 points. 
Kilkenny, three goals and 22. And everybody in Ireland will say, thank God we have a replay. I'll second that.